Kansas Wesleyan is an exciting university and a vibrant community. It offers unique, nationally ranked academic programs, engaging activities, and successful athletic teams. KWU combines all of these strengths to open doors for your future. Learn more today at kwu.edu. There are two key moments in any college journey, when an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. And College App Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College App and breathe easy. Did you know only 2% of college graduates feel that they've had a magical college experience? At St. Thomas University, we see the magic happening every day. When your professor becomes your mentor and learning becomes your passion. When you join a student organization and meet your friends for life. When your classes and activities prepare you for the real world and a successful career. At STU, our students live the magic and their college experience leads to limitless possibilities. Visit stu.edu today. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I thought if that's out there, I want to make sure I see it and I get involved in it because to me, this was music to my ears. I was blown away. When you look at today's kid, the millennium kid, they learn by being able to see it. If I can see it, there's a great chance that I can do it. And the First Down Playbook is a tool that can essentially change the way we teach the game. While many things have changed at Spring Arbor University since 1873, some things have remained the same. Like our commitment to providing a top-tier education that is centered on Jesus Christ as the perspective for learning. We believe that spiritual growth goes hand in hand with academic discovery. And that is something that has been core to our mission for 150 years. Join our thousands of world-shaping alumni and let your light shine at Spring Arbor University. The landscape of sports is changing. 
AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with Huddle Focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the Focus app. Instant uploads and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today. Kansas Wesleyan is an exciting university and a vibrant community. It offers unique, nationally ranked academic programs, engaging activities, and successful athletic teams. KWU combines all of these strengths to open doors for your future. Learn more today at kwu.edu. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City, Iowa, the host site of the NEI Volleyball National Championship, the 15th year that this championship has been in Sioux City, Iowa. And it is semifinal Monday as uh, what started out as 48 teams making the National Championship Tournament. 24 opening round uh, winners came to the final site here at the Tyson. Those 24 teams divided into eight pools, three teams each. Each pool winner will advance to the quarterfinals, which was on Saturday. The quarterfinals is whittled down to the semifinals. Four teams left, and uh, this first matchup here on the center or the main court. Top seed Eastern Oregon taking on number four seed Corbin. The nightcap, the second semifinal, number two, Jamestown will take on number three, Midland. Should be an outstanding evening for semifinal volleyball. The ultimate goal, of course, is to get to tomorrow's national championship match, which will be live on ESPN3, a seven o'clock start time. I'm joined by Beth West, former standout player for the University of Northern Iowa. And Beth, we were talking off air. Very rarely do you get to see the top four seeds get to this point, but that's what we have this year. Exactly, the top four in the final coaches pool, the top four seated here in the national tournament, and here we are in the semis, same four teams, pretty fantastic. Another uh, obscure thing, if you will, is uh, the, each semifinal has two, con two teams from the same conference battling again for this first one. The fourth time that these two teams have played, the second one, Midland and Jamestown, this will be the second matchup, but four, this is the fourth meeting between Corbin and Eastern Oregon. Some tribute to how good those conferences are in bringing two teams 
now to the semis, and when you're playing a team for the fourth time, you know a lot about your opponent. So I'm looking forward to see how Eastern Oregon and Corbin adjust, what they do the same, what they change up. They know how to battle each other. Eastern Oregon has won two of the three previous one, including the most recent one, the conference final, which happened uh, back on November 12th. So Eastern Oregon has the edge, and they are the number one team in the nation. They do have the edge. November 12th doesn't seem that long ago, but I know they've played a lot of volleyball since then here in the national tournament. So they're going to try to repeat. Like you said, they have the edge, but Corbin's going to have something to say about that. From a stats point of view, Eastern Oregon, they have led the nation in blocking all season long. You counter that, Corbin, one of the top hitting teams in the nation, ranking fourth coming in. How does that play out? That's interesting. Top blocking team, that's their strength. Corbin, strength is offense. That's going to be a fun matchup. I think we're going to see some interesting things, right? Eastern Oregon definitely will be strong on the uh, the block and what can Corbin do to adjust uh, to make sure their offense is hitting efficiently. I would imagine some changes in the matchups throughout uh, what we see tonight in the semifinal just to give a different look, right? Some different rotations. Let's introduce the starting lineups, first of all, for uh, Corbin and the Warriors. Again, coming in as the number four seed, their coach, Kim McLean, uh, the 2021 Coach of the Year in the conference. She is the winningest coach in program history. And uh, this is a Corbin team that no strangers. They're making their uh, seventh appearance at the national level. They'll run a 6-2. Their two setters, Abby Gindy and Jaden Mullen in the two middles. Allie Schmidt and Allison Reed on the outside. And Corbin led by those two outsides, Avery Ridgeway, Riley Troutman, and then their right sides, it's uh, Michaela Roginski and Kylie uh, Dacey. The libero, she's been around a while in her fifth year. It is uh, Kehlani Antai. And then you flip it over to Eastern Oregon and uh, head coach uh, Kaki McLean Moorhead. She was the coach of the year this year, also the 2020 coach of the year. They also run a 6-2 offense. Hannah Ledgerwood and Alexis McMurtry will be the setters. You have Kara Clayton and then probably the best hitter or the number one player for Eastern Oregon, Cambry Scott, led the nation in blocks individually. Shawday Williams, Presley Jensen on the left side, Ashton Houghton and Madison Morgan, a left-hander on the right side, and the libero Haley Aratola. Those are some of the key contributors for both of these teams. And the player introductions are in the books, and uh, we will go courtside here as the teams uh, take the court. It'll be number one Eastern Oregon and number four Corbin with a trip to the national semifinals on the line. Player introductions, referees checking with the score table and score book. The second semifinal will have Jamestown against Midland. And uh, neither one of these teams, Beth, has been to this point. Uh, this is the first time in the national semifinals. They are no stranger to the tournament, but in the semifinals, their first appearance. And at this point, they have become familiar with the facility, the setup, the court. And so I think they're gonna be comfortable but there still might be some nerves, some jitters, some rust to work off here in the opening points just from a standpoint of first appearance in the semis. And another new wrinkle to this championship is usually the championship is on Saturday. They have, teams have never stayed the weekend and have played a semifinal on Monday. Not sure if that matters, but it's another new wrinkle. Absolutely. And it will be Corbin serving first. Eastern Oregon in serve receive, a little struggle in serve receive. They will send a free ball short. Here come the Warriors. Warriors will set up on the outside, and it hit goes long. Eastern Oregon on the attack there wins the first point. Eastern Oregon wins the uh, point on the attack air by Corbin. Riley Troutman, the Cascade Player of the Year, and serving will be Eastern Oregon. It'll be the setter, Alexis McMurtry. Corbin takes it to the near side. And a bump set, a little out of system, and back-to-back -back attack airs by the Warriors. Eastern Oregon in front, two to nothing. Another serve coming for one of the two setters, McMurtry. She'll share the setting duties with Hannah Ledgerwood. McMurtry, one of the uh, returning starters, a veteran for uh, Eastern Oregon. 
Set goes to the left side, hit over by Troutman, dug back and returned by Eastern Oregon. Corbin, they'll set it up on the right-hand side. That was uh, Roginski. Roginski hits it out of bounds, and another point for Eastern Oregon. Corbin with some early attack errors on their side. Like we said, maybe a little jitters, trying to get settled down, get those swings in the court. And a missed serve and a side-out call uh, for uh, Corbin. 3-1 to one is our score. Now Corbin will drop back to serve. They got a couple of players, their two outsides, Ridgeway and Troutman, all uh, six full rotation players. They will not come out, and one of those is serving here. Set by McMurtry to the outside pin, and it goes out of bounds. They're asking for a touch, and they're gonna, it's going to be granted. And so a kill that time for a Presley Jansen, 4-1 to one in favor of Eastern Oregon. Using the high hands of the blockers, Jensen swinging long, getting that good touch though, point for her team. Jesse White back to serve. She'll ser come in to serve and play the back row for this Mountaineer team. 34 and two, they have won 15 straight heading into this match. And a middle attack hit down by Allison Reed for Corbin. Reed with the Warriors first attack and kill. Reed in the middle, up and ready, making sure she's an option for her setter. And a great connection there, able to find the corner. On tie back to serve for the Warriors. Serves it right into the tooth of the back row and an ace for on tie. First ace of the match, Corbin within one at four to three. Four three is the score. Another serve coming from uh, Kehlani on tie, the all time career digs leader. Uh, at Corbin, that one just sails long, neither uh, almost hit the uh, linesman, if you will, and it's five to three. It's always a fine line between serving aggressive and that missed serve. It is. You want to be aggressive, just like you said. Put your opponent out of system, make it easier, maybe on your defense for them to bring back a free ball or something out of system, but you gotta get it in. Right, first and foremost, that you would love to get it in and then allow your defense, you know, trust your defense to defend whatever they bring back. So, fine line, absolutely. Ridgeway got the successful attack. Abby Gindy, 5'9", freshman setter, serving for the Warriors. Set goes to the middle. Hitting it over was uh, Cambry Scott. And Corbin digs it up. They'll throw it outside to Ridgeway. It was touched and Ridgeway with back-to-back -back kills. We are tied at five. So after somewhat of a slow start, the nerves in check, and Corbin has come back to tie, to tie this at five. Gindy serving the freshman setter, a near overpass, and that's going to go outside the antenna. It'll be another point for Corbin, and they have their first lead at six to five. Serve coming for Gindy. Gindy and Jaden Mullen. Mullen, the veteran setter. Gindy, the freshman. And Gindy serving, taken in the back by Aratola. Set goes to Kara Clayton, and it's blocked at the net by Corbin. Way to be active at the net for the Warriors. Seeing that tight pass all over it, not letting it drop there. And another serve coming from Gindy. Gindy back to serve. Floats one to the back row. Aratola has it. Set back to. Uh, Kara Clayton out of the middle. That time she makes the most of her opportunity and puts it over the block for the kill. It was a similar situation where the setter is so close to the net, so tight. She was able to keep this one on her side for Eastern Oregon. And the middle was able to tool it off the hands. Ledgerwood serving for Eastern Oregon. Set goes to the outside. It's Ridgeway and uh, down it goes. And a tool actually off the block. Ridgeway with her third kill already of the match. She'll go back to serve. Ridgeway to serve. Avery Ridgeway moves to the back row, and her counterpart, Riley Troutman, will swing on the left side pin. Ridgeway with the serve. Sends one deep. Chased down by Eastern Oregon, and they will tip it down. It's the middle hitter, Kara Clayton, with the kill. A little bit of a slam dunk there, <laughs> tight to the net. She was able to get her feet underneath her, stay clean out of the net, and just slams it home for the point. Shaw Day Williams to serve, a junior outside hitter, Idaho Falls, all-conference player for this uh, Eastern Oregon team. Serves it tough. This will be a free ball. We'll see what Eastern Oregon will do with this free opportunity. And on the outside, they will 
Go out to Jensen who puts it down for the kill. Oh. Presley Jensen takes advantage with the kill. We're tied at eight. Back and forth, back and forth. That's what we expected though, right? Definitely, two teams that know each other so well. They've played a couple of five setters already this season. And we got a timeout on the floor. The down official. Oh, they're going to replay that. That's interesting. They called a double, it seemed like, on the initial call. Okay. And there might have been some question on that, so replay. So take off the point for Eastern Oregon. Corbin still with a one-point lead, 8-7. to seven. And out of the middle, down it goes for uh, Allie Schmidt. Schmidt with a successful attack, another strong middle for Corbin. No question on that one. It was a clean swing right in the corner for a Corbin point. And serving for the Warriors, this will be Allie Schmidt who recorded that last kill. Schmidt sends one to the back corner. Eastern Oregon will set it outside to Presley Jensen. Corbin digs it up, but their attack tried to go line. Not much room there and it goes out of bounds. Good vision. She saw that the line was open. Right idea. Just turn those shoulders, turn that approach a little too sharp and swung out of bounds there. Great idea. Kara Clayton back to serve. Clayton serving for Eastern Oregon. Her team down one. Set goes to the right-hand side. That was uh, Roginski, and that goes out of bounds. And another point for Eastern Oregon. We're tied at nine. Tied at nine. Neither team has gone on an extended run. The best run so far, Eastern Oregon scored the first three points of the match. Here's the serve taken by Corbin. They'll set it up to Reed out of the middle, dug up by the Mountaineers. They'll send it over from the right side. Here comes Corbin. They'll set it up on the right. Right side attack, dug up, Eastern Oregon. They're out of system. Hitting it across was Jensen. Corbin goes to Troutman on the outside. Eastern Oregon digs it up. They'll attack this time out of the middle, switching it up. Good get by Ridgeway. Back to Troutman. Troutman to the back corner. Williams digs it up. And on the outside, Presley Jansen finishes it off. Longest rally. Jensen with the kill. Impressive defense from both sides on that rally. Wow. Nothing was getting down. Hard shots, tips, pushes to the corner. Everything was getting dug up. That's awesome. 10-9, Eastern Oregon back in front by one, and Coach uh, McLean Moorhead applauding her team's effort there. There's Troutman and a block at the net. That was put away by Eastern Oregon. The number one blocking team showcasing it there, and they're up 11-9. Hot number 11 there for Eastern Oregon, the right side with a really good setup, lining up on the outside hitter's arm. Middle comes to her, closes, stuff block. And Corbin in serve receive, needing a side out. They'll go to Troutman, and she's asking for a touch. I don't think it's going to be granted. And a 4-0 run right now by Eastern Oregon, the top-ranked Mountaineers with a 4-0 run. Timeout, Corbin, their first timeout of this first set. 12-9 is the score here in set number one of this semifinal. Eastern Oregon taking on Corbin. We'll take a break, come back with more volleyball from the Tyson. When an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. And College App Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College App and breathe easy. Did you know only 2% of college graduates feel that they've had a magical college experience? At St. Thomas University, we see the magic happening every day. When your professor becomes your mentor and learning becomes your passion. When you join a student organization and meet your friends for life. When your classes and activities prepare you for the real world and a successful career. At STU, our students live the magic and their college experience leads to limitless possibilities. Visit stu.edu today. Tyson Event Center it is semifinal Monday, our first semifinal. Two teams from the Cascade Collegiate Conference. 
Number one overall seed Eastern Oregon right now with a 12-9 lead over their conference rival Corbin. It's been a back and forth first set, Beth, and uh, Eastern Oregon right now, they've scored the last four points and uh, hence the timeout by Corbin. Both teams coming with some scrappy defense. You're right, it had been back and forth. Now just seeing a three-point lead, which seems like a huge run compared to anything we had seen so far early in set one. And serving, well, trying to continue the run will be Kara Clayton, the uh, middle hitter. Back to serve. Corbin will go to the middle themselves. That's Reed. And it's uh, batted at the net. Now Eastern Oregon gets control, hitting it across with Scott. Here comes Corbin, Troutman on the outside, and did she get the tool? She did, and a side out, a much needed side out for Corbin. Good recovery there on the outside after some swings out of bounds and some blocks, being able to use the block there for Corbin. Great job, side out. Jaden Mullen will set the next three spots. She'll serve. Here's a middle attack for Scott, and she puts it away. Cambry Scott showing she's not just a blocker, but she can attack. Scott puts it away for the kill. Side out, Eastern Oregon. Scott using her vision there, tipping it to that open end line. The defender was creeping to the other corner. Scott saw it, pushed it to the other side. McMurtry, who started the match off serving. She'll have serve for Eastern Oregon. Set goes to Troutman. Tipped at the net, controlled by the Mountaineers. They will set it up to, uh, that was Presley Jensen who hits it out of bounds. Side out for Corbin, 13 to 11, Eastern Oregon with the lead. Two point lead for the top seed, Eastern Oregon. Winners of 15 in a row. Nine and one in sets played. Corbin, they're a perfect nine and oh in sets played at the championship. They have yet to drop a set. On the attack is Cambry Scott. Good dig by Corbin, good get. They'll set it up on the right-hand side. And him hitting it over was Roginski. And Roginski with the kill. Player in the net, I believe, on Eastern Oregon. Led to that point. Yes, Eastern Oregon a little aggressive on their block. Got caught in the net. And Corbin will serve to try to tie it. Serve taken in the back row, that was Williams. Set goes outside to Jensen, blocked back by Corbin. Eastern Oregon will chase it down, send a free ball, see if Corbin can capitalize. They'll send it outside to Ridgeway, and she does. Avery Ridgeway with her third kill. We're tied once again at 13. Ridgeway using some power there off the blockers. Getting that sharp bounce. So hard off the deflection. Definitely. And now an ace for uh, Corbin. That was Troutman with the ace, the second ace of the match for Corbin. They have taken the lead, 14-13, scoring the last four points. So a 4-0 run returned by the Warriors. Eastern Oregon for right now. Coach uh, McLean Moorhead will let it play out. Good thing she did. She knows her team well. Missed serve, and we're tied at 14. Does not have to use a, her first time out. Sometimes you just want the student athletes on the floor to figure it out, work through it, figure it out, find a way. And then sometimes the opponent has a missed serve and it works out that way too. I would have wanted to call timeout, but that's why I'm up here, not there. <laughs> Gotta trust your players. Absolutely. On tie and serve receives. Set goes to Reed out of the middle, dug up by Eastern Oregon. Hitting it across was Williams. And an overpass putting it away is Cambry Scott once again. Scott puts it away at the net, Eastern Oregon by one. Scott staying alert and aggressive there in the middle, seeing that overpass, staying clean out of the net, smashing it straight down. That's harder than it looks to be patient for it to clear the net, isn't it? It, it is, it is. You have to be patient, especially if it's that second ball, right? You're not supposed to break the plane there. Wow. And a broken play. Corbin, a little bit of struggle in serve receive, and they hit it over and they find an opening. Sometimes uh, sometimes you get lucky, I guess. Yep, Eastern Oregon a little bit on their heels, right, expecting one, two, three. Uh, came over, it seemed like, on two there, and they just weren't they just weren't ready. On tie to serve to break the tie at 15. And the set goes to the right-hand side. That's Morgan, and Morgan puts it away. Another kill for Madison Morgan, their left-hander on the right-hand side. And it's a one-point Eastern Oregon lead. 
16-15, taking a look at the numbers, Eastern Oregon right now 26% kill efficiency, Corbin at 8%. Advantage Eastern Oregon for right now, and the set goes to the right side, blocked again by Eastern Oregon, and they have a two-point lead. You said it at the start of the broadcast that Eastern Oregon, their strength is blocking, and we're seeing that come out here lately. Holding a very good hitting Corbin team to just 4% right now. Eight errors, attack errors. And uh, Avery Ridgeway says, uh, just wait. That's my fourth kill and a side out for Corbin. Slowly but surely, Corbin will get that hitting percentage up, I have no doubt. So Ridgeway, a match high, actually stats say five kills and six swings for Avery Ridgeway. Impressive numbers at this level and this stage. Eastern Oregon. Struggle to serve, receive. They will send it out to Williams, blocked back by Corbin. There is Eastern Oregon. Williams will get a second effort. Good diving save and a beauty by Ridgeway. Out of the middle, putting it away was the middle. That was Allie Schmidt, I believe. Point for Corbin. Nice job by the Corbin setter, Gindy. A blind set behind her to find her middle there on a quick tempo set. Really good connection there. This is the sixth tie of this first set. Eastern Oregon will go to the right to Morgan. Diving save, Corbin, they'll extend it. Ridgeway to the back corner, does it again. Avery Ridgeway with another kill, and Corbin up by one. Ridgeway playing smart, not taking a full swing with power, just using her vision and her court awareness. Kind of a roll shot to that deep corner. And Corbin now with back-to-back -back points, leading by one. Eastern Oregon will set up the middle, and Kara Clayton, what a get in the back row by Antai. Back row attack by Corbin. Here comes Eastern Oregon. They'll set it back over to Clayton. Dug up in the back row, Corbin. Troutman, got it. Uh, we got a player in the net. It's going to be Eastern Oregon. Must have been a player in the net against Corbin. And we're going to be tied at 18. The set was floating into the net there. The attacker, Ridgeway, Ridgeway, went with it. Got her hand, I think, in the follow through right on that net. Serving for Eastern Oregon for the lead. It'll be their setter, Ledger Wood, and on the attack. That was Allie Schmidt who puts it away. Corbin back in front by one. Schmidt running the slide, one-legged approach behind. I like the changeup, seeing different shots, different positions. And Corbin with a one-point lead. They will have serve. Good pass in the back row. Here's the slide by Clayton. And Eastern Oregon says, okay, we can do the slide too. And Clayton puts it away. Both very effective, right? We saw it back to back. Both teams slide, kill. Easy game, right? If only, right? <laughs> <laughs> Williams back to serve. Once again, we're tied at 19. Taken in the back by Antai. Set goes outside. That's Troutman who tips it over the block, finds an opening. Troutman will get credit for the kill. And Corbin back in front, 20 to 19. Way back earlier in this set, Corbin had to use a timeout, so they have one left. Eastern Oregon, I believe, has both to this point. You are allotted two. And the serve from Corbin with a one-point lead. Ledgerwood. Sets it to the right-hand side, hitting it over was hot, uh, hot and blocked back by Corbin. They'll go back out to Jensen, and it was touched at the net by Corbin. Give the kill to Presley Jensen. We're tied once again at 20. Jensen going high off the hands again, seeing that solid block in front of her, knowing not to go into the meat of it, but going high hands, able to get that kill. Clayton back to serve. Clayton in the back row. Cambry Scott will play the front row for Eastern Oregon. Right side attack for Corbin. Good dig in the back row by Williams. Here's Cambry Scott. Corbin with a great dig. Troutman on the left side and somehow found a gap. Got it through somehow and a point for Corbin. Didn't really have an approach there. Troutman was falling back in a way. Still put some power behind it to force it through Eastern Oregon's block. But let's point out that dig by Antai, too, keeping it alive in the first place. That was awesome. Great back row play. Now a miss serve and air. 21 all is the score. And, uh, yeah, this one's tight. All tied up, game to four. What have we been doing this whole time, right? Correct. Let's just start it right now. 21 all serving will be uh, uh, McMurtry. 
the setter for Eastern Oregon. Set to Troutman. Good dig by Aratola, positioned beautifully. Hitting it over was Williams. Corbin, they'll reload. Here comes a right side attack. And the block by Cambry Scott. Eastern Oregon in front by one. 22-21 on the point by Eastern Oregon. Corbin with that timeout. Point here, and you may want to think timeout if you're Corbin. Set goes to the uh, left side, and Troutman puts it away. Riley Troutman with her second kill. We're tied at 22. Tied at 22, Corbin with serve. Now it's a game of three, win by two. And the serve by the Warriors. Underneath it is McMurtry. She'll set it up to Scott, pushes it across. Back set, out of system, over is Ridgeway, and Ridgeway will get it. As uh, Eastern Oregon ran out of hits, Ridgeway with the kill. Ridgeway finding the opening right in the middle of the court for that kill, nobody home there. And a timeout, their first call by the Mountaineers. Each team left with one timeout. 23-22 is our score in set number one of semifinal number one. We'll be back after a short break from the Tyson. You're watching the NAI Volleyball National Championship on the web. Back to the Tyson Event Center, set number one. We got a tight one here in the first semifinal. Number four, Corbin with a 23-22 lead over number one, Eastern Oregon, forcing a Mountaineer timeout. Each team with one timeout. 11 ties so far, Beth, and uh, you wouldn't expect anything else from these two conference rivals. This is what we anticipated, and this is what we are getting battling back and forth, point for point. No one taking very much of a lead, and here we are at the end of set one. Such a critical time here. McMurtry will go to Cambry. Scott returned by Corbin, and Eastern Oregon's gonna slow it up their attack. They'll set up on the right side, dug up by Corbin. Here is Ridgeway, has had the hot hand. It continues. It is Avery Ridgeway with another kill. Set point for Corbin, up 24-22. Ridgeway finding a way to continue to power through that block. Eastern Oregon, I'm sure the talk on their side is make sure we're solid, make sure we're pressing over, don't let them hit off of us. And the serve just sails long. That was diving down very close. You gotta give Eastern Oregon credit to let that go. That was pretty close. Jesse White into serves. Still set point for Corbin, but now it's 24-23. White will try to bring Eastern Oregon back to tie it here, force a little extra time. On tie, good pass on a tough ball outside. Dug up by Eastern Oregon. They will set it up to Morgan and she puts it away. We are tied at 24, why not, right? Why not is right. That's a gutsy swing there from Morgan, the lefty. Going high and really sharp, too, really sharp. It seemed like the Corbin defender was outside of the block, but unable to return it. White back to serve. She'll try to serve for the lead. Serve taken, got the good pass. Quick attack out of the middle to Reed. Blocked back, sent back by Eastern Oregon. Corbin reloads. That was uh, Ridgeway. Sent back over by Eastern Oregon. Ridgeway is going to get another swing. That one is going to go long. The touch won't be granted, and now Eastern Oregon will serve for the set. What a change of events and change of momentum. That's volleyball, 25-24, Eastern Oregon with a one-point lead. 
We'll take a short break here. We'll come back and uh, we'll conclude this first set here from the Tyson after this short timeout. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I thought if that's out there, I want to make sure I see it and I get involved in it because to me, this was music to my ears. I was blown away. When you look at today's kid, the millennium kid, they learn by being able to see it. If I can see it, there's a great chance that I can do it. And the first down playbook is a tool that can essentially change the way we teach the game. Back at the Tyson, Eastern Oregon with a 25-24 lead. They are serving for this first set. Their first set point overcame a couple of set points the other way. Corbin coming out of a timeout now and serving will be Jessie White. She served the last two points, 25-24. Eastern Oregon will serve here. And White puts it across, Corbin. They will go outside to Ridgeway, and she puts it away. Kind of thought that's might where they go, and Ridgeway delivers. We're tied at 25. Corbin got a good pass, and you go to the hot hand, Ridgeway delivers. Tied at 25, and back to serve will be on tie. On tie back to serve. And it's taken by Eastern Oregon. They will go to the middle, and it's that was uh, Cambry Scott who puts it away. And Eastern Oregon will serve for the set once again. Quick tempo, middle attack. Cambry Scott, again, working on the outside of the blocker's arms there. Serving for the set, Eastern Oregon. It'll be the libero Eratoa and Eastern Oregon on a block by Scott, I believe. And that is the set, 27-25. Eastern Oregon wins it in extra time. Good first set here from both squads, back and forth, all the way down to the wire. Extra points even, wow. What a set it was. Eastern Oregon with a one set to zero lead in the first semifinal. We'll take a little bit of an extended break here in between first and second sets. Be back with more championship volleyball from the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City, Iowa. While many things have changed at Spring Arbor University since 1873, some things have remained the same. Like our commitment to providing a top-tier education that is centered on Jesus Christ as the perspective for learning. We believe that spiritual growth goes hand in hand with academic discovery, and that is something that has been core to our mission for 150 years. Join our thousands of world-shaping alumni and let your light shine at Spring Arbor University. The landscape of sports is changing. AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with auto focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the focus app. Instant uploads and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today.
Welcome back to the Tyson Event Center. What a first set it was. Top seed Eastern Oregon, a 27-25 win over Corbin, their conference rival. Two teams from the Cascade Collegiate Conference here in semifinal number one. We'll do it again in the nightcap. Two teams from the Great Plains Athletic Conference, Jamestown Midland, but uh, what a first set it was, 27-25. Let's take a look at the first number, first set numbers. Eastern Oregon in the advantage. Kill efficiency, 26% to 15. Also the blocking, which is kind of what we thought, how that would play out, four to one. Uh, Eastern Oregon managed to kind of tame the Corbin attack a little bit and, uh, and uh, hold their attack down. Yeah, Eastern Oregon causing havoc there with four blocks for a point, but I think probably more importantly, they're getting the touches on a lot of stuff, which is playing into Corbin and their hitters, what they're thinking about, how they need to change. So even though it might only say four, which is a lot in one set, uh, they had, Eastern Oregon had a lot of really great touches too on block. Individually, Avery Ridgeway, 10 kills, 15 swings, hitting close to 500. That's almost unheard of, but, but then you have the balance of Eastern Oregon. Nobody with more than three, but they have three players with three, another player with two. So that's kind of interesting to see Ridgeway with the 10 and then the balance of Eastern Oregon. Different strategy. I like a balanced attack. You have to focus on everyone. You can't forget about anyone. So we'll see how that continues here in set two. Teams will trade sides of the floor right out of the gate. Allison Reed with a swing and kill for Corbin. So uh, Eastern Oregon and Corbin starting this second set. So Corbin, this will be Mullen serving for Corbin. Eastern Oregon on the attack. They'll set it up the slide and it's executed perfect, beautifully. I believe Cambry Scott with the slide and kill her fourth of the match. Tied at one. Eastern Oregon won the first set, needing extra time, 27-25. First loss in sets for Corbin here at the national tournament. See how they respond. Here's the serve from Eastern Oregon. Mullen, she'll go outside. That's Troutman dug up by Eastern Oregon, who will go to the middle. Hit down by Scott, dug up by Corbin. Right side attack. That was... Uh, Ragatani, and now an attack on the right side, putting it away was Madison Morgan, the lefty, and Eastern Oregon out to a two to one lead. Sometimes as a defense, as the rally goes on, you get on your heels or you get sucked in, right? All those power swings, there Eastern Oregon able to go with a deep roll shot. Corbin couldn't adjust their defense there to pick it up. And Eastern Oregon setting up the big block. Corbin unable to control it, another point. And Eastern Oregon really starting to control things at the net with Cambry Scott, their uh, talented middle hitter. Scott with another block, also has five successful attacks. Her third block she's in on for Eastern Oregon. Three to one, Eastern Oregon with a quick lead. Serve taken by Ridgeway out of the back row. Set goes to Troutman, that is out of bounds, but that time it was touched. So Troutman will get credit for the kill. And a side out for Corbin, three to two is the score. Troutman back to serve. That means Ridgeway will move to the front row and swing on the left side. Troutman serving. Taken the back by Williams. Bump set by McMurtry and a roll shot. Beautifully played by Williams and a point for Eastern Oregon. Sometimes it's not always about the power, sometimes it's the placement, and Williams does that here. Yes, she does. As a front row attacker in that passing, from a serve receive standpoint, takes it, and then gets her approach to swing as well. Ridgeway puts it away on the other side for Corbin. 12 kills for Ridgeway unofficially, 4-3 Eastern Oregon with a one point lead on time to serve for the Warriors. On tie, serves it deep, played by Williams. And a middle attack, just inbounds. Good call by the linesman. Just found enough room on that attack by Clayton. Clayton, I liked that change in set. It was in front of the setter, still a quicker low set. But she took off on one foot as if it were a slide behind. So just a change up. We talked about their balanced attack, and, and we're seeing it. 
What a get uh, initially by Eritola, the old pancake play, if you will. But uh, Eastern Oregon unable to control the second ball, so give the kill to uh, Roginski for Corbin and a side out for the Warriors. 5-4 is the score. Gindy back to serve. She'll set the next three spots for the Warriors. Eastern Oregon won the first set, 27-25. Up 5-4 early, set two. Out of the middle and down it goes. Clayton with the more conventional power shot that time. And it's 6-4 to four in favor of Eastern Oregon. Running a two ball here, high in the middle. Looked like it was hot and coming in there. They okay. moved their hitters around. Again, keeping even us off balance, <laughs> not knowing which hitter is going where. That's just a credit to Eastern Oregon's offense right now. Eastern Oregon on the right-hand side. That was Houghton, dug up by Corbin. They'll attack right side. Here comes Eastern Oregon back in system. That was Jensen. Corbin tips it across. Eastern Oregon, a little out of system. Their libero will take second ball, blocked back by Corbin, punched across by the Mountaineers. Corbin, Ridgeway, falling away. Dig by Eritola. Eastern Oregon unable to control it out of the net. And Ridgeway will get credit for the kill and a point for Corbin. 6-5 is the score in favor of Eastern Oregon, a one-point lead. Back to serve will be Ridgeway. Troutman to the front row. Best run that either team went on was 4-0 in the first set. This one has the makings of that again here. And a rare attack error by either one of these teams goes into the net. We're tied at six in set two. Ridgeway back to serve to break the tie at six. Semifinal number one, number one Eastern Oregon with a one set to zero lead over Corbin. Ridgeway with a near ace. Eastern Oregon keeps it alive, right side and a great play by the right side hitter to tool it off the block and put it away. Corbin with a double block up, set, ready. Get Eastern Oregon able to use the hands again. We've seen that a lot tonight already. Just using the hands of the blocker to your advantage. Swinging out of bounds there, making sure there was no question. Troutman, and she tried to do the same, but Eastern Oregon looked like they turned it in. And uh, a block by Eastern Oregon, they get the point. 8-6. On the double block. Like Cambry Scott and Ashton Houghton on that. Another block for the Mountaineers. Here's the serve. Tough serve by the Mountaineers. Set goes outside to, to Troutman. Dug up by Eastern Oregon. They'll attack out of the middle. Scott blocked back by Corbin. Set goes outside Jensen and she'll tool it off the block for the kill. Another point Eastern Oregon. Three-point Eastern Oregon lead. Their best run of the second set. Up 9-6 right now against Corbin. Good coverage there for Eastern or Oregon using that out-of-system ball and then still taking a really powerful swing on the outside. Gindy's set goes outside to Troutman and she'll get credit for the kill. Cross court, down it goes. Riley Troutman with the attack. And a side out for Corbin. No, Corbin would love to get Troutman on fire. Having her match what Ridgeway is able to do as an outside there. This will be Allie Schmidt serving. Good get in the back row by Williams. Jensen sends it across. Dug up Corbin Troutman with another swing. Williams underneath it. Chased down by Eastern Oregon. They'll send a free ball across. Corbin, can they take advantage? Troutman with a big swing and it's out of bounds. No touch and it's a point for Eastern Oregon. Or are they going to talk? Ridgeway is going to ask the top official here. Yeah, too fast for me to see on the replay. Can't tell. It was a free ball, and so it was yep. one that she was just ready and wanting to swing. You saw that power. Couldn't tell if there was a touch or not. And now a uh, near, near ace, but Corbin, great hustle on the return. But Scott puts it away out of the middle. And Eastern Oregon right now, they're rolling up 11 to seven. They've got momentum, they're playing well, their defense is on fire, nothing is dropping. And oh yeah, their blocks are good too, and now look at these swings. 
11-7 is the score. Eastern Oregon with a four-point lead up one set to nothing. We'll take a break. Be back with more from the Tyson here in a moment. Back at the Tyson Event Center, set number two of the semifinal. Top seed Eastern Oregon with a one set to zero lead. Now up 11-7 in set two. Starting to get, well not even just starting, but getting some momentum now, forcing Corbin into a timeout. 11-7 Eastern Oregon up one nothing in, the, in sets. And really starting to play well, a complete effort for Eastern Oregon. Complete effort is right. Their defense is very scrappy right now. Eastern Oregon keeping balls up. That's frustrating to an opponent. You can tell it's frustrating to Corbin. And on the outside attack, it's tooled off the block. Successful attack by uh, Kylie Davey for Corbin. Davey with her first kill. 11-8 on the side out and point. Mullen will serve for Corbin. Interestingly enough, you pointed out that uh, a timeout was called in the first set relatively by Corbin. They came back to really uh, make it interesting and tighten things up. We'll see if that has the same effect here in set two. Right side attack, Morgan. Corbin runs it down. Troutman will get a swing on the left side. Kept alive by Aratola. Outside Jensen, she'll hit out of bounds and a point for Corbin, who seemed to be in control that point, putting Eastern Oregon back on its heels. Good response out of the timeout for Corbin. Just an opportunity to settle down, talk some strategy, and now execute these last two points they've done well. Mullen serving, try to cut it to one, a near ace. Eastern Oregon will send a free ball across short. Tough ball to handle. Corbin runs it down. Troutman will get another swing. Great hustle play. Really? Oh, they're going to call it out of bounds. But what a hustle play by Eastern Oregon just to give them a chance even. That was one arm diving, two players. Great effort by Eastern Oregon. But again, Corbin putting that pressure right back on them. Nice run back by Corbin after the timeout. Here's a serve by Mullen. Down the line, dug up by Jensen, who gets it back on the pin. Dug up by Corbin, outside Troutman. She'll tool it off the block, and we're tied at 11. Troutman starting to heat up, joining Ridgeway, and now we're tied at 11. Tied at 11. Here in set number two. Best of five in this semifinal. Deep serve played by Eastern Oregon. They'll set it up out of the middle. Red beautifully by Reed and Corbin with four straight. They take the lead back at 12-11. Reed with the solo block there right on the Eastern Oregon hitter. She lined up correctly. She timed it perfectly. Stuffed straight down. Eastern Oregon needing a side out. Tipped. Returned back by Corbin. Outside it goes to Morgan. She'll send it across. Corbin digs it up, Troutman on the line, out of bounds. No touch, it'll be a side out. Eastern Oregon gets the side out, we're tied at 12. I feel like we need to catch our breath, wow. Yes, yes. Back and forth, fast pace. Long rallies. Yes, these are long, fun rallies. This is some good volleyball here. Eastern Oregon, Jesse White to serve. To break the tie at 12 in set two, Corbin. Left side, Troutman, swing. And that one is down. Found some room in the back corner, says the linesman. And Troutman with another kill. Corbin back in front by one. When in doubt, deep cross court. 
as a team, you got six players on there, you can't cover everything. Deep cross court is a good bet if you're gonna go anywhere. Troutman back to serve, played by Williams. Set goes to the right side, that's Morgan. Dug up by Corbin, they will attack on the right side. That was uh, Roginski who puts it away. And Corbin in front, their largest lead is set two. 14-12, Corbin with the lead. Roginski, successful attack. Freshman of the year in the conference. Here's the serve from the Warriors. They'll attack out of the middle. And down it goes for Eastern Oregon. Successful attack, believe by Scott. And Eastern Oregon with the serve, Eastern coming up. Oregon. Serving will be Aratola, played by Antai. Set goes to the middle, the read, and she'll put it away. Both middles get into the attack, and a side out point for Corbin. Good serve, receive pass by Antai. Corbin Setter had all options available, picked a great one in Reed with a quick attack out of the middle. On tie, serving with her team in front by two. Set goes to the left side, that time it's Williams. I feel like it's kind of one and done right now. These teams bringing the heat right now and the power. They are, and when you're passing well, like both teams are, you have options, you can run to and set the hot hitter, and that's what we're seeing. Here's the serve by Eastern Oregon down the near, a far side. Ridgeway gets it back, falling away. Williams tries to dig it up, but uh, unable to do so. And Ridgeway with another kill and another one and done. One attack, puts it away. That one was even out of system, so right after we praised passing, there were a little scrambled, a little out of sort there on that play, but still able to get a swing out of it. And that's what you want, whether you're in system, out of system, bringing over a solid attack. Gindy serving for Corbin. Set goes to the middle, dug up by Corbin. They'll send it out to Ridgeway. Good cover by Williams. Back to the right-hand side for Eastern Oregon, but the block is there. Schmidt and Ridgeway with the block. Corbin with its largest lead of the match, 17-14. Critical time now for Corbin to not get complacent, keep that pressure on Eastern Oregon. They really want to push to finish here. They don't want to have any let up, let Eastern Oregon think they have a chance to get back in this. Set goes to Williams on the right side. Corbin keeps it alive, set tight to the net. Tough ball to handle. Return back by Corbin, Eastern Oregon will have it. Right side attack, Houghton, and it's blocked again by the duo of Schmidt and Ridgeway. 18-14, and the run continues, and a timeout called by Eastern Oregon. Timeout, Mountaineers, their first, each team with one timeout remaining here in set number two. We'll be back with more championship volleyball from the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City, Iowa. Kansas Wesleyan is an exciting university and a vibrant community. It offers unique, nationally ranked academic programs, engaging activities, and successful athletic teams. KWU combines all of these strengths to open doors for your future. Learn more today at kwu.edu. Welcome back to the Tyson Event Center. Corbin with its best run of the match. They have taken a four point lead, 18-14 over Eastern Oregon. Corbin, of course, trying to tie the match up. One set apiece after dropping the first set, 27-25. And uh, Beth, what has made the difference of late for Corbin in, in making this run? They're serving aggressive, which gets Eastern Oregon a little bit out of system but I think they picked up some blocks, getting some momentum plays like that, whether it's a block, 
a scramble play, anything they can do to keep that momentum on their side has made a difference lately. Each team left with one timeout. Couple of big swings, that one by Williams. Corbin runs it down. And kind of a roll shot there by Corbin. And back on the attack, Eastern Oregon. And as you said, blocking has made a difference. There's another block for Corbin. Great to have that point out of the timeout, not letting Eastern Oregon even get a side out here. They don't want to get down 0-2. Oh. Corbin wants this second set. Troutman and Davey combining for the block. Here's Williams on the left side. Good tip, good decision by Williams as she mixes it up. Her second kill in Eastern Oregon with a much needed side out. 19-15, it was tied at 12, so Corbin now on a seven to three run to really, have, they have a little bit of breathing room. Volleyball such a game of momentum, you never want to be too comfortable. There's a slide by Schmidt, and she puts it away. And a point inside out for Corbin. It's a five-point lead. And we have some players shaken up for Eastern Oregon on the floor right now. Got a couple of them down. The libero, Haley Aratola is one of them. Twenty to fifteen is the score. Corbin with a five-point lead, and the athletic training staffs out there to uh, talk, check on their Eastern Oregon athletes. Might get to see a replay of this and see if they collided. Yeah, it looks like they just they were going after the ball and kind of collided out of the back row. So I think we're going to take a break and come back with more from the Tyson Event Center here in a moment. There are two key moments in any college journey when an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. And College App Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College App and breathe easy. Did you know only 2% of college graduates feel that they've had a magical college experience? At St. Thomas University, we see the magic happening every day. When your professor becomes your mentor and learning becomes your passion. When you join a student organization and meet your friends for life. When your classes and activities prepare you for the real world and a successful career. At STU, our students live the magic and their college experience leads to limitless possibilities. Visit stu.edu today. Back to the Tyson Event Center. We are in set number two of this first semifinal. Top seed Eastern Oregon taking on number four Corbin. First set went in the books. Eastern Oregon won it in extra time, 27-25. We're at a point where it's 20 to 16 Corbin with the lead. And we've had a little bit of a stoppage of play. A couple of Eastern Oregon players collided going after an attack. And uh, so uh, both of them shaken up a little bit. Ashton Houghton on one of uh, the right side and Haley Aratola, the libero for Eastern Oregon. So uh, both of them, I see they walked off on their, under their own power. So that is always good. But Eastern Oregon now will have some lineup uh, adjustments that, that they'll have to make on the fly. Right. Lineup adjustments for two critical positions. And I'm sure they have capable student athletes who will go in uh, but it's still something where the team is a little shooken up 
as well as the players. And it's definitely a, a change in the environment, the atmosphere, all of that. Curious to see how both teams respond. Correct. We hope well for, for both teams. Corbin definitely had the momentum. And yes. now, and, and I mean, this place got silent. It was kind of eerie, actually, after both players went down. Yes. And Corbin now talking to the top official. I think the officials are doing a nice job, giving uh, Eastern Oregon some time. Uh, I believe it's an unofficial official timeout, if you will, as Coach uh, McLean Moorhead talking to her group and adjust, making some adjustments. And there's one of the players. Uh, oh, no, probably a new... Maybe she just switched jerseys. I think you, yep, I think you are right. This is a different libero. Had to get her other yes. change of color jersey. Right, she probably right. hadn't brought it out to the bench with her. Unexpected. All right, so now the mood has picked up. The energy level a little bit back after uh, she comes runs back on the floor. 20 to 15 is the score right now. That was a side out for Corbin on that play. And serving will be Corbin. And here we go, Eastern Oregon back on the attack. Jensen with a big swing, overpass, and on the second effort, Williams puts it away, and that's gonna fire up the Mountaineers as they celebrate that kill from Williams. Good pass on the initial serve by the new libero for Eastern Oregon. So just a good job being confident, coming in cold, sticking that first pass. Good job. You know they were going to go after her. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everyone knew where the serve was going. She handled it well. And a rampage is that new libero. And left side attack. Putting it down was Corbin. That was Troutman with the attack. 21-16 is where we are at in set two. Serving will be the Warriors up by five. And the serve taken in the back by Williams. Set goes to Jensen on the outside. She'll put it away for the kill. And the team's continuing with a strong attack. Presley Jensen puts it away. The Corbin defense got sucked in the court. You see Jensen here just going deep. Look how far up their defense was. 21-17, here's the serve by McMurtry. Corbin will set it up on the right side, tooling it off the block. And effectively is Kylie Davey. Davey, good placement on that. And a side out for Corbin up 22-17. Back to serve for the Warriors will be the setter, Jaden Mullen. Three points away from tying this match at one set apiece. Mullen serving. Down the near side, played by Jensen, who gets it back on the left. Good dig by Antai out of the back row. There's Troutman, and it's touched, and a point for Corbin on the Troutman kill. Troutman going high, looking like it's going over the block. Good approach and high contact point from Troutman there. And serving will be Mullen, two points away from tying the match. Williams takes first contact. Here's the slide put over by Scott. Corbin digs it up, sending it up to Roginski. Dug up by Eastern Oregon. They'll send it up to Morgan. Corbin digs it up. Back to Roginski, and she'll push it across. Eastern Oregon will return it. Here comes a free ball. Here's Corbin. They have options. And red well. Eastern Oregon comes up with a great play with the block and a point. Eastern Oregon lining up and pressing that inside blocker in. Great job from the Eastern Oregon block. It's different when you're lining up on a lefty. And so having that awareness, adjusting, moving in, pressing in those hands, good job from the Mountaineers. White serving, and that one's gonna float long. That'll give Corbin their first opportunity at set point, 24-18 in set number two. Troutman will serve, Ridgeway to the front row. Corbin serving to, try to tie it at one set apiece. Set goes outside, Williams, good get in the back row by Antai, Ridgeway. Set is off the net, goes out of bounds, no touch. And Eastern Oregon uh, lives to see another point here. Getting a side out, but facing set point still. 24-19. And the serve 
from Eastern Oregon. Back row attack, and that is good. That's going to do it. Corbin wins set two on that kill by Riley Troutman. Her seventh of the match, 25-19 is the score in set two. And we are tied at one set apiece. Extended break here in between sets two and three. We'll come back with more championship volleyball from the Tyson after this. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I thought if that's out there, I want to make sure I see it and I get involved in it because to me, this was music to my ears. I was blown away. When you look at today's kid, the Millennium kid, they learn by being able to see it. If I can see it, there's a great chance that I can do it. And the First Down Playbook is a tool that can essentially change the way we teach the game. While many things have changed at Spring Arbor University since 1873, some things have remained the same. Like our commitment to providing a top-tier education that is centered on Jesus Christ as the perspective for learning. We believe that spiritual growth goes hand in hand with academic discovery. And that is something that has been core to our mission for 150 years. Join our thousands of world-shaping alumni and let your light shine at Spring Arbor University. The landscape of sports is changing. AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with Huddle Focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the Focus app. Instant uploads and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today.
Back at the Tyson Event Center, first semifinal, Eastern Oregon and Corbin locked in, 1-1 tie. Eastern Oregon won the first set, 27-25. Corbin responds with a 25-19 win in set two. Let's take a look at the first two set numbers. Pretty, pretty even actually after a first set where Eastern Oregon had the advantage both in kill efficiency and blocking. That kill efficiency number right at 21% for both teams. Corbin uh, not surprisingly hit much better. Looks like 289 in that second set. Blocking has evened out a little bit. Eastern Oregon still with the edge there, seven to five, but uh, this match tied at one set apiece. It's the best of three, and if you're Corbin, you have a lot of momentum right now, and uh, we'll see how that continues going into set number three. Yes, Corbin wanting to continue that momentum. They played well defensively, served tough, followed it up with some blocks there in set two. But now that we're two sets in, these teams have a real good look at what the opponent is bringing, right? And so I am assuming we're going to see some adjustments from both sides as we would anticipate. And how that plays out should be very interesting now. In that second set, a couple of Eastern Oregon players uh, were uh, shaken up. I do see one of them. I see Ashton Houghton back out on the floor, so that is good as well. Trying to check the libero's number, see if it's number two, Haley Aratola, who is the other player involved in that. But Houghton has returned. Otherwise, uh, if you're Coach uh, McLean Moorhead, you got some lineup shuffling to do as well. Um, I think I saw a number two, so I think that's yes. Aratola. Both are back, which is great to see. Yes. That they are feeling well, ready to battle again. Set number three. Again, best of five. This is the first of two semifinals, our nightcap, an 8 p.m. start. And it will not start early. It will start at 8. Jamestown will take on Midland. That is the 2-3 matchup in terms of overall serve uh, seeding. Here we go. It will be Corbin serving to start set three. Jensen on the left side. Live by Ridgeway. Troutman gets it on the left side for Corbin. Dug up Eastern Oregon. Jensen will get another attack. Corbin back out to uh, Ridgeway. Eastern Oregon, it'll run it down. Another great hustle play by the Mountaineers. Reed out of the middle. Kept alive again by Eastern Oregon. We'll send it across. Corbin back on the attack. Troutman blocked back Eastern Oregon. The run, the rally continues. There's a tip ball, and did it hit the floor? Yes, I think the official said it hit the floor. Corbin comes out of the gate, wins a long rally, up 1-0. Intense, scrappy defense on both sides, keeping it alive as attackers when it's a long rally, staying patient, not forcing a shot, but just using what the defense is giving you. And a quick point there as Corbin with an ace serve. That was Jaden Mullen serving, and it's two to nothing in favor of Corbin. Long rally followed up by an ace. Gives us just as much of a rest as the players. Exactly. Mullen will try to duplicate that. This time, uh, Eastern Oregon. No, unable to control first contact. Back to back aces and a quick start here for Corbin, 3 to 0. We talked in set two that Corbin was serving aggressive. Here we're seeing it come through in aces. Sometimes it just comes through in your opponent out of system, like here, free ball. And we're leading to a, an attack here. Right. Corbin right out of the gate, scoring the first four points. Five aces for the match for Corbin. Eastern Oregon unable, or they don't have an ace so far. So 4 nothing. good start for Corbin. Both of these teams looking to advance to the championship match for the first time in program history. And a tip ball by Ashton Cotton, and that is the first point of the set for Eastern Oregon. A little off on her approach there, kind of chopped it over, but it worked right at the top of the blocker's hands there. Unconventional, but hey, Eastern Oregon's going to take it. It's a point. McMurtry serving. Here comes Corbin. They'll set it up on the left side and tooling it off the block. Riley Troutman with the successful attack. The Cascade Player of the Year with another kill. And it's 5-1 to one in favor of Corbin. Troutman has joined her teammate Ridgeway in double figures. Ridgeway with 13 kills. Troutman now with 12. She really picked up her level of play 
in set number two. Set goes to the middle, hitting it over was Cambry Scott. Corbin will return it. Back comes Eastern Oregon, that's Scott. Red beautifully in the middle, and another point for Corbin. Corbin's front row, their blockers are staying alert. Eastern Oregon runs their hitters in different patterns, patterns, excuse me, in front and behind. Corbin is figuring that out, finding their hitters, putting up solid blocks. Serve receive, Eastern Oregon, they'll set it up on the right-hand side. That was Morgan, and that is blocked. And another point for Corbin, and Eastern Oregon is forced into a timeout. A 7-1 start to set number three. And Corbin races out to that big lead here. Timeout, Eastern Oregon, their first. We'll come back with more of Championship Volleyball from the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City. Kansas Wesleyan is an exciting university and a vibrant community. It offers unique, nationally ranked academic programs, engaging activities, and successful athletic teams. KWU combines all of these strengths to open doors for your future. Learn more today at kwu.edu. There are two key moments in any college journey when an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. And College App Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College App and breathe easy. Back to the Tyson Event Center. Early set three. This set's been all Corbin thus far. Seven to one, forcing Eastern Oregon into an early timeout. They are left with one in this setting. Seven to one, Corbin leading the match. Nodded at one set apiece. And Coach McLean Moorhead brings her group together to regroup. And down, this is the largest deficit of this match so far. And if you're Coach McLean Moorhead, what do you try to focus your team on during that timeout? I would focus on starting with a pass, making sure they're in system, and then reminding them, we've been here, we can do this, back to our game plan, reminding them to stay patient in these long rallies. Uh, we talked about up here, at least, that we've seen a lot of long rallies tonight, and sometimes as an offense, you get a little impatient, you get frustrated, why isn't this working, why can't I get it down, and maybe you get forced into an error or your passing is off, you lose focus, whatever it might be. So I think that would be it. Focus on passing, get that up, stay tough in the long rallies, stay focused, and then remind them, hey, we're good. We can do this. We can come back. We've been here before. This serve by Eastern Oregon. It's 8-2 to two here in set number three. Corbin will have serve. It'll be on tie. This is set three, match Tied at one set apiece. On tie. Sends it to the back row, McMurtry. Sets it outside and it's hit out of bounds by Morgan on the attack air. Another point for Corbin. Nine to two right now. Eastern Oregon's just making some mistakes right now. Right, that set was off the net. And so as a hitter, adjusting your approach and then adjusting that swing because you are so far off, Thankfully for the Mountaineers, Corbin had a service error to let them side out and get, get that serve back on their side, see what they can do with it. Aratola back to serve for Eastern Oregon. Aratola will try to string some points together for the Mountaineers. Set goes to Ridgeway. Dug over and Ridgeway on the second effort puts it away. Corbin with another point up 10 to three. Those ones are tough. It was a great dig. Unfortunately, it was an overpass dig. And Corbin, they're just ready. Ridgeway hammered it home. No need to set it up. Just, just hammer it. Just hammer it. Here's the serve from Corbin. This is Gindy serving. Set goes to the middle to Clayton. Blocked back by Corbin. Williams, and that one is blocked, and we got a point. Player in the net, I believe, against... Corbin will lead to an Eastern Oregon point. Oregon. Mountaineers with the side out, 10-4 is the score. Eastern Oregon will have serve. This will be Ledgerwood. And she'll set the next three spots in the rotation. Ledgerwood 
Serves it to the near side, overpass, trying to put it away with Scott. Corbin will dig it up and send it across. Outside, Williams. Corbin keeps it alive, a little joust at the net. Eastern Oregon has control. Set by, Leatherwood, uh, by uh, Ledgerwood. Dug up Corbin, they'll attack out of the middle. Here comes Eastern Oregon on a system. Williams to the near, uh, far side. Corbin keeps it alive. Ridgeway with a big swing and got it. Dug out of bounds. Ridgeway with a point for Corbin. They lead 11 to four. Ridgeway. 11-4 for Ridgeway. The total is 14 right now. Still hitting at such a high number. Over 400 for the match. As an outside hitter, hitting 400 is very impressive. I will tell you that, very impressive. And a side out, Eastern Oregon on the attack. Williams back to serve, 11-5. Right now, Eastern Oregon, they've called down. They're trading points now, but for Eastern Oregon, they need to string points together. Here's Williams back to serve. Corbin, right side, and there's one. They get one back on the block. Yes. Blocked by the Mountaineers. To your point, because they're at this deficit, they got to start getting runs. Little as they are, maybe it's two points, three points, and then siding out again, but they got to string together some. They can't battle point for point. And Corbin with the side out right there. Good answer. That was Troutman again with the kill. 12-6. Corbin with a six-point lead. Largest lead was seven, so we're about at that point. Corbin back to serve. 12-6 is the score. Warriors serving. Tough ball for Ledgerwood to handle. Corbin gets it back. Here comes the Warriors. Getting it over was Reed. Chasing it down was the Mountaineers. They'll head outside to Jensen, blocked down by Corbin. Tough swing there for Jensen. It's coming from behind her, so behind her shoulder. You see her having to face that way and then turning back into the court. Maybe not quite aware of where she is. Thinking maybe that was out of bounds, but it was so far in that block. Point for Corbin. Right side attack, Eastern Oregon. Corbin digs it up. They'll set it up on the left side. That's Troutman. Eastern Oregon on the attack, right side to Houghton. Corbin setting it up to their right side to Davey. Good get in the back row by Eastern Oregon just to extend the point. Outside, Troutman, that time it's blocked. Good block by Eastern Oregon. Point for the Mountaineers, they needed that. Side out, 13-7, keeping it a six point deficit. Kara Clayton back to serve. Clayton in the back row. Cambry Scott will play the front middle. Clayton serves it to the back middle for Corbin. Hitting it over his Reed. Diving get by Eastern Oregon, but then it's sent out of bounds. Good strong attack by Corbin. Scramble play just to keep it alive on the Eastern Oregon side, and then just a out of system kind of miss hit there, which is tough. Timeout called, I believe, by Eastern Oregon. That is their final timeout of set two. 14-7 is the score. We'll take a short break, come back with more from the Tyson Event Center and Championship Volleyball. Did you know only 2% of college graduates feel that they've had a magical college experience? At St. Thomas University, we see the magic happening every day. When your professor becomes your mentor and learning becomes your passion. When you join a student organization and meet your friends for life. When your classes and activities prepare you for the real world and a successful career. At STU, our students live the magic and their college experience leads to limitless possibilities. Visit stu.edu today. Back at the Tyson Event Center, it is semifinal Monday. Eastern Oregon and Corbin locked in a 1-1 set match here. Set number three, 
has been different from the previous two. Corbin out to a big lead, 14-7. And at this point, Eastern Oregon calls their final timeout. So it's up to the players on the court right now for Eastern Oregon as uh, Coach McLean Moorhead used her final timeout. Team down 14-7. Corbin with the lead and control of serve. It'll be Mullen serving. Eastern Oregon, Williams, uh, no, Jensen rather, Jensen on the attack and a point for Eastern Oregon. 14-8, so Eastern Oregon with a point back, down by six. This is about as where it's been over the last while, six, seven point lead. And serving will be McMurtry. Outside Corman, Troutman, dug up in the back row by Williams. Here comes uh, Jensen. And she will get back-to-back -back points. Point, Eastern Oregon. Back-to-back -back is right. Stringing together some really good swings. The first power through the hands of the blockers. The second high off their hands. And I'm liking the energy I'm seeing on the Eastern Oregon side. They are definitely not out this set. They've got some good cheering and energy from the bench as well. Scott on the attack out of the middle. And it's blocked by... Uh, Allison Reed for Corbin. Reed with the block. And a side out for Corbin. And for Corbin, we talked about runs. They are looking to limit the runs, right? If they can side out efficiently one point, two point runs and push to finish, then they've got this one. Those runs start coming. The momentum starts changing. Like what we're seeing right here on the Eastern Oregon side. They just got that energy. It's, it's back. It's I back. I don't know if it was the timeout or what, but right. it's back. We'll see if it's enough, but it is back. Presley Jensen with the big swing and a kill. It's a five-point Corbin lead. And here's the serve from Eastern Oregon. Corbin going to the outside of Ridgeway. Played well by Eastern Oregon, who will send it to the right side. Hit over by Morgan, and she delivers a kill. And... I think this is starting to get interesting. 15 to 11, a four point deficit. Corbin probably sensing that. They will call a timeout. Their first of two. 15 to 11 is our score in set number three. We'll take another break. Come back with more championship volleyball from the Tyson Vent Center. this for a long time. I thought if that's out there, I want to make sure I see it and I get involved in it because to me, this was music to my ears. I was blown away. When you look at today's kid, the millennium kid, they learn by being able to see it. If I can see it, there's a great chance that I can do it. And the first down playbook is a tool that can essentially change the way we teach the game. Tyson Event Center, Eastern Oregon, down by as many as eight earlier. It is now a four-point uh, Corbin lead. And, and Beth, I guess if you're checking some things off, the first thing you got to do is force your opponent into a timeout. In, in terms of coming back, check that off the list. Exactly. Step one complete. Now to continue to chip away at this deficit. It's only four points. That is achievable in no time in the sport of volleyball. So Eastern Oregon will continue to serve. Deep serve played by Antox. That goes to the outside and just getting it inbounds was Avery Ridgeway. Ridgeway with a successful attack and a point for Corbin. Good response out of the timeout. Good pass on the serve. And a deep cross court shot there. Just staying calm with blockers up. Ridgeway able to attack, doing what she's done this entire match. On tied to serve for Corbin. Played by Williams. Right side attack, that's Morgan. Corbin digs it up, outside. Ridgeway does it again. Avery Ridgeway with back-to-back -back kills. And Corbin back in front by six. 
Ridgeway trans transitioning quickly so she can get a really big approach on her attack. Set. Working hard for her team. 17 for Ridgeway so far in this one. And we're not close to being done. There's Williams on the left side. Shawde Williams with the kill. 17-12. It's a five point Corbin lead. And serving will be Aratola. Aratola back to serve. Mullen setting up Ridgeway. Not three in a row that time. Dug up by Eastern Oregon. Williams on the left side, puts it away. And Shawday Williams with two in a row. She's got five. 17-13, Eastern Oregon with it four. That ball just dropped. It looked like it was floating. It was so high, and then I, I think we got the right call there. I think it landed in, but I don't blame right. Corbin for thinking it was going out. It was a floater. Right side attack, hit over by Roginski. Eastern Oregon. Returns it out of the middle, and down it goes. Allie Schmidt puts it away for Corbin. Does that play have a name? I've never known what to call that little, that uh, little like a shoot set. I don't know. Well, are you talking about yeah, the, yeah, what the, Schmidt the just did there? Um, yeah, it was kind of like a layup approach, right? right it's it kind was. of different. She took it on the second ball too. Her yeah. teammate just popped the first ball up. She could tell that the setter wasn't going to get there, so she just decided to take a swing at it. Eastern Oregon, though, they're able to respond. Madison Morgan with another kill on the right-hand side. 18-14, and you said it earlier, just chip away, score a point or two on serve. That's exactly what Eastern Oregon is doing right here. 18-14. Mountaineers will try to Chip away again, that hit goes wrong, no touch, and it's a three-point game, 18-15 in favor of Corbin. Corbin needing to take a breath here, settle down, play their game. They want to apply the pressure. Ledgerwood serving, Corbin on the attack. Dug up Eastern Oregon, they'll attack out of the middle. That's Clayton, and, and it was touched. They're gonna say it was touched. Another point, Mountaineers. It's a two point game, 18-16. The line judges didn't see anything, but the down official and the up ref, who are closer to the play, saw the touch. Coach Kim McLean asking for an explanation. Here's Ledgerwood serving. Corbin outside Ridgeway, played well by Aratola. Eastern Oregon will run it down and extend the play. Here goes the set out to Ridgeway again. That one's blocked out of bounds, and Ridgeway tools it off the block for the kill and ends the Eastern Oregon run. Ridgeway playing the limbo there, trying to contort her body to get out of the way. She was successful. It went out of bounds. So Ridgeway with the kill. 18 for Ridgeway so far. Here comes Eastern Oregon. Outside, Williams, big swing, got it. Shaw Day Williams, yes, for the kill. And it's a two point game again, 19 17 here in set three. That set was inside a little bit. Williams saw it. She was able to bring her approach in, and then she just cuts it sharp right around those blockers. Williams serving. Bring her team within one. Corbin. Quick attack out of the middle, done well. That's Allie Schmidt who puts it away. Corbin, first one to 20, 20 to 17. Corbin with the lead. 20 to 17 is our score. Corbin with a three point lead and serve. Here's the Warriors. They'll send it, played by Williams on the first contact. And a slide to Clayton, out of bounds, no touch. Point for Corbin, 21-17 in favor of Corbin. Schmidt back to serve again for the Warriors. It's been as close as two. Back-to-back -back points scored by Corbin, and now a missed serve. It's a three-point game, 21-18 in favor of Corbin. Clayton to serve for Eastern Oregon. Cambry Scott rotates to the middle. In the front row, here's a serve from Clayton. Corbin on the attack, and it's Reed who puts it away. Just beat the block on the quick, quick attack. Seen the one blocker right in front of her. 
cutting it back across her body there. Good swing. 22-18 is the score. Corbin three points away from taking a 2-1 lead. Here's the serve from Mullen, just long, and a point for Eastern Oregon. 22-19 in favor of the Warriors. Good court awareness by Williams in that serve-receive rotation. You saw her pointing to her libero. libero. You could see they were communicating, saying, out, out. McMurtry serving down the line. Corbin outside. That's Troutman who puts a swing and gets the credit for the kill. Riley Troutman answers with a successful attack. 23-19, Corbin. Troutman to the back row to serve. Ridgeway will move to the front side. Front left. Here's the serve from Troutman. Overpass, and it's put away. Good patience by Reed. Set point coming up for Corbin. 24-19 is the score. Corbin serving for a 2-1 lead. And Corbin serving. Played by Williams in the back row. Bump set outside. Into the net it goes. Corbin takes the third set. Final score 25-19. Corbin leads the match two sets to one over their Cascade Conference rival. Two to one is our score. Corbin with the lead will come back after a short break. And you are watching the NAI Volleyball National Championship on the web. While many things have changed at Spring Arbor University since 1873, some things have remained the same. Like our commitment to providing a top-tier education that is centered on Jesus Christ as the perspective for learning. We believe that spiritual growth goes hand in hand with academic discovery, and that is something that has been core to our mission for 150 years. Join our thousands of world-shaping alumni and let your light shine at Spring Arbor University. The landscape of sports is changing. AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with huddle focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the focus app, instant uploads, and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today. Welcome back to the Tyson Event Center. We head to set number four of our first semifinal. It is Corbin with a two sets to one lead over top ranked Eastern Oregon. Your game scores 
27-25, Eastern Oregon took the first, but it's been 25-19, 25-19 in the next two. Real quick check at the numbers. Corbin now is uh, got the advantage hitting-wise. 23%, Eastern Oregon 17%. Those numbers have gone up and down respectively since the match went on. And then the five aces compared to zero for Eastern Oregon, even blocking is starting to evening, evening out uh, in Corbin's favor. Corbin settling down, finding a rhythm and really applying a lot of pressure to Eastern Oregon, getting them out of system, making them pass off the net. We'll see how both teams respond here and set for a must win for Eastern Oregon. Eastern Oregon a must win, down two sets to one, right out of the bat, Corbin with a successful attack. Kyle Davey with the kill, and it's one nothing in favor of Corbin. And this is the fourth matchup between these two teams. And uh, Corbin, one and two against Eastern Oregon. They lost a three-setter and a five-setter. The one win was a five-setter against Eastern Oregon. Tied at one here in set number four. Second semifinal, Jamestown against Midland, the 2-3 matchup. That'll be an 8 o'clock start time, not early. And it won't start late. It'll be right on time, right at 8 p.m. Jesse White serving for Eastern Oregon. We're tied at one in set four early. Serves it to the back line. Mullen underneath it. There is Troutman, punched up by Eastern Oregon, who will send a free ball across. Corbin will have it out of the middle. That is Allison Reed dug up by the Mountaineers. They'll attack on the right-hand side. That was Morgan. Corbin keeps it alive. They'll attack on the right with Roginski dug up by the Mountaineers. Williams blocked. Eastern Oregon retreats. Williams set off the net. Good get by Mullen. East, uh, Corbin out of system. Pushed across by Roginski. Out of bounds. Eastern Oregon wins the long rally. They lead 2-1. to one. Good idea from Corbin going for that deep corner. Too much muscle on the push. But good defense. Both sides, a long rally there. Right away, it's beginning of set four. 2-1 Eastern Oregon with the lead, needing a win here in set four. A near ace. Corbin will send a free ball across. Here comes Eastern Oregon. In system, out of the middle. That was Cambry Scott. Chase down. Corbin will return it. See what the Mountaineers dial up here. They'll go right side to Morgan. Dug up, Corbin. Corbin on the outside, down it goes. Riley Troutman with the attack and kill. We're tied at two. Troutman working around the double block. Again, going high, deep cross court. I said it earlier, but I'm gonna stick by it. That deep cross court, that corner, it's golden. I love it. Corbin. Ties it at two, they have serve. Outside Williams, and it is blocked. And down, uh, Corbin gets the point, they're up three to two. Three two is the score, Corbin with her first lead of set number four. And Corbin will serve again. Here's the serve, Troutman, Eastern Oregon, setting up the middle, Williams hits it across. And the left side, Ridgeway, deep corner. And it, down it goes, four to two, Corbin with the lead. She's found a sweet spot, and she's gonna, I would say, keep hitting it until Eastern Oregon defends it, right? Either adjust their defense there to make sure they're picking up that deep cross court attack. Here's Maybe have their blockers move as well, take that away. And the service sees set up to the right hand side, goes long, Madison Morgan. And Corbin strings together four straight points. They lead five to two in set four. Troutman back to serve, and that one's into the net. Point, side out. Eastern Oregon comes at a crucial time for the Mountaineers. Not wanting to get behind too much early in the set. They've got a lot of space and time to work with here. But again, just making sure they're staying close. Eastern Oregon wanting to push ahead, obviously. And it's Ridgeway that time with a tip. Tip, yep, and a kind of a miscommunication. Two players for Eastern Oregon looking at each other. Are you going to take it? Am I going to take it? No one, unfortunately, making a move on that ball. Drops right over the top of the block. On tie, back to serve for the Warriors in front, 6-3 in set number four. Williams takes first contact. She'll get it back on the left side pin, cross court, 
and down it goes. Shawday Williams with another kill. She's got seven for the match. Williams responding after the error a point or two ago. As an attacker, just keep swinging, right? See that block? Use the set you're given, swing away. And Corbin on the right side, hitting it over was Roginski. Dug up Eastern Oregon, attack out of the middle, and it's good. Kara Clayton muscles it through. We'll get credit for the kill, her fourth. Clayton with a three zone set there in between the middle zone and the outside. I like that Eastern Oregon is still mixing it up like they've done the whole match, moving their hitters around. And a broken play overpass. Eastern Oregon tried to finish it off, but it goes out of bounds a little bit early with a little bit excited. Uh, and the air gives it side out to Corbin. Timing is everything with overpasses, and it can be tricky. It's coming at you, and just the height and the speed. Timing is tough. Here's Gindy serving, serves it out of bounds, and a point Eastern side Oregon. out for Eastern Oregon. 7-6, it's a one-point lead for Corbin. Back to serve will be Williams. Williams back to serve to try to tie it at seven. Corbin leading the match, two sets to one, trying to win it in four. Set on the slide, that's Schmidt. And executed perfectly once again, Ali Schmidt with the kill. Schmidt running behind one-legged approach there, seeing the blockers in front of her. It appears that she was able to go through a seam, a gap in the block. Also in between defenders in the backcourt, so she's hitting all the right zones. Ridgeway serving for the Warriors. Eastern Oregon on the attack, and down it goes. Strong right side attack for Eastern Oregon. This has the feel of set one. Back and forth, longer rallies, aggressive swings. It just feels a lot like we could be going extra points down to the wire. Serving will be the Mountaineers. Outside, big swing from Troutman. Dug up, tough second ball, and it's a bump set to the right side. Corbin digs it over. Eastern Oregon will get another look at it. On a system, however, right side, block back Corbin. Eastern Oregon now has it in system. And they'll attack with the left side with Jansen. Dug up Corbin. Corbin sends it over with uh, Schmidt. Dug up by Eastern Oregon. Mountaineers setting it up on the right-hand side. Corbin comes up with the block, and the Warriors win the long rally. Eastern Oregon, their defense, they were covering their hitters time and time again. Corbin was getting some really good touch block. Touches on the block, excuse me, and then they stuck with it, able to finally get a block for a point. Schmidt and Troutman combined for that block. 9-7 in favor of Corbin, who has serve. Outside Jensen, tipped back by Corbin. Now a dump over by the setter, blocked back by Corbin. Here's another effort by Eastern Oregon. Set up to Scott, she puts it away. Camry Scott out of the middle, puts it down. It's a one point Corbin lead. When your teammates cover you as a hitter, that gives you more confidence, right? I have confidence I'm gonna swing away at this block because I know my teammates can cover me behind me. And they're showing that on the Eastern Oregon side. They're covering a lot. Out of the middle, that's Reed, Allison Reed, with another kill for the Warriors. 10-8, as the team's trading points right now. This set definitely up for grabs. Neither team has gone on any sort of run so far. Serving will be Corbin with a two-point lead. And an ace served by Corbin. Jaden Mullen with the ace. It's a three-point Corbin lead. Now the question is, how soon, if you're Eastern Oregon, do you use a timeout? How far away do you let this go? Three-point lead, Corbin serving, Mullen. Williams in serve receive, out of the middle. Sent back by Corbin. Mountaineers will send it across. Here come the Warriors. Right side, big swing from the lefty. That's Roginski. Eastern Oregon digs it up, sends it across. Here comes Corbin, outside, Troutman. High hands by Eastern Oregon. They will get a touch. They'll try to attack out of the middle. Corbin sends it back. Here is Jensen, kept alive Corbin. They'll send it across. Great ball on the, by the setter. 
Jensen with another effort. Corbin on the outside. Troutman cross court. A whistle, and after all that, a player in the net, Point Corbin. Wow. The defense from both sides. They were touching everything. It's so hard to end it on uh, in the net call, but it's a part of volleyball, and if that defense can stay like this, wow. 12-8, Corbin with a four-point lead, and we have a timeout called by Eastern Oregon. Their first of two. We'll take, uh, we'll take a break, come back with more championship volleyball from the Tyson Event Center. Welcome back to the Tyson Event Center. Set number four, Eastern Oregon and Corbin. Corbin up two sets to one, and now leading 12-8 in a set four. The Warriors trying to close it off in four sets. Eastern Oregon trying to extend their season, force a fifth set. Eastern Oregon with a timeout as, her team, as uh, the Mountaineers down by four here in set four. It'll be Corbin Servant. Jaden Mullen, the senior setter, serving. Set goes to the right-hand side for Eastern Oregon, dug over by Corman. And a quick attack now by Eastern Oregon, dug back by Antai. Set to the left side, blocked by the Mountaineers. They needed a point, and they got it. Huge block for Eastern Oregon, shutting down Corbin's outside. That has been so effective all match. A momentum builder right there for Eastern Oregon. See if they can propel that into a run here mid-set. 12-9 is the score. And the serve by the Mountaineers. Set to read out of the middle for Corbin. Mountaineers dig it up. And the Mountaineers attack right side out of bounds. And a point for Corbin. There was no touch. Side out for the Warriors. Boy, at this point, Corbin, if you just trade points, you got this. You just prevent the run from Eastern Oregon. Play disciplined defense, play clean. We talked about that, and limiting your unforced errors. Corbin doing a good job in those areas. And Ridgeway puts it away for the Warriors. Another kill for Avery Ridgeway, who has been so huge this entire match. 20 kills now and 37 swings, hitting at a 430 clip. I would say for Eastern Oregon to try to force Ridgeway line, but she hits, she contacts at a very high point that I feel like some of the time she's just hitting over the block and going cross court anyway. So maybe that isn't the best strategy, but that, that might be something. Try to force her line, make her try to hit a different shot rather than cross court kill, cross court kill, off the hands, off the hands. She's got the cross-court kill thing down. Absolutely. She is good at that shot, and it's working. Eastern Oregon on the attack. Williams dug up by Corbin. Here comes Ridgeway. That time over, tips it over the block. Diving save by the Mountaineers, who will send it across. And this time it's a right hand, right side attack. Kept alive Eastern Oregon. Mullen has options, goes to Reed out of the middle. And the Mountaineers unable to control it. Allison Reed comes away with a kill. And just like that, Corbin has made this a seven point lead, 16-9 in favor of Corbin. Troutman will try to continue the run for head coach Kim McLean's squad. McLean trying to lead Corbin to their first ever championship appearance. Here's the slide, down it goes by Cambry Scott for Eastern Oregon. Was that Scott? Yeah, it was. Cambry, Cambry Scott with yes. the kill. 
16-10. Corbin on the right side. Down it goes. Roginski puts it away. Corbin starting to roll. 17-10 in favor of the Warriors. Corbin able to answer with that first swing side out in a lot of this set. Again, limiting that run, not really giving Eastern Oregon a chance. Serving is on tie. Eastern Oregon muscles it through. Here comes Corbin. They'll set it up. They'll send a free ball across. Mountaineers cover. Left side attack. Williams, and it's blocked by Corbin. Corbin's doing the little things well. Boy, attack, block, you name it, and they get the point, 18-10. Warriors on a roll. A good timeout on the Mountaineer side. Timeout called by Eastern Oregon. That is their final timeout. We'll come back with more championship volleyball from the Tyson Event Center in a moment. Kansas Wesleyan is an exciting university and a vibrant community. It offers unique, nationally ranked academic programs, engaging activities, and successful athletic teams. KWU combines all of these strengths to open doors for your future. Learn more today at kwu.edu. Back at the Tyson Event Center, 18-10. Corbin with its largest lead in set number four, trying to close it out in four sets. A lead over Eastern Oregon. Mountaineers, uh, their season kind of rests on this. This is a pivotal time needing a side out after their final timeout. 18-10 is the score on tie. The libero for Corbin to serve. Winner will advance to tomorrow's championship match. Mountaineers set up the middle. Good cover by Mullen. Corbin will be out of system, however. They'll send it over and a point for Eastern Oregon. Corbin's back row attack, it looked like her foot was on that 10 foot line as a backcourt attacker needing to stay fully behind that line. Eastern Oregon gets a point that they much needed. Here comes a right side attack, Treadway tips it over the block. Eastern Oregon on the attack, and it's Williams who puts it away. Kind of a broken play, 18-13. Heads up from Williams, taking it over on to. She recognized, like you said, that it was broken. Corbin was scrambled on their side. She just threw it over on to. Very smart. Quick timeout called by Coach Kim McLean and Corbin, 18-12. It's a six-point lead for Corbin. Their first of two timeouts. We'll come back with more volleyball from the Tyson Event Center in a moment. There are two key moments in any college journey, when an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. And College App Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College App and breathe easy. Did you know only 2% of college graduates feel that they've had a magical college experience? At St. Thomas University, we see the magic happening every day. When your professor becomes your mentor and learning becomes your passion. When you join a student organization and meet your friends for life. When your classes and activities prepare you for the real world and a successful career. At STU, our students live the magic and their college experience leads to limitless possibilities. Visit stu.edu today. Welcome back to the Tyson Event Center. 18-12, Corbin with a six point lead, using a timeout here. Coach McLean has one. If she needs it down the stretch, Eastern Oregon is called both at this point. 18-12 is the score. Eastern Oregon down two sets to one, fighting for their season to continue. They'd love a spot in the championship, of course, tomorrow. Corbin in serve receive. Outside attack. 
Dug up by Eastern Oregon. Here comes a right side attack, and it's down. Eastern Oregon with three straight points. They've cut it to five, 18-13. Little by little, they are coming back into this. It's starting with an aggressive serve, relying on their defense, and then transitioning that into a good swing there on the right side. Here's Ridgeway. Positioned beautifully was Eritola to the barrel. She'll dig it up. Corbin now, tough ball for the setter to handle, and they hit it over, hits the net. Here comes uh, Eastern Oregon, and boy, did they, they were in control that entire point. Williams finishes it off. Good swing from Williams. She brought the heat there, working around a pretty solid block, but she snuck it through their hands, keeping this run going. Here's Corbin on the right side. Mountaineers will send a free ball across. Corbin on the attack. Outside Ridgeway. Blocked back by Eastern Oregon. Here come the Mountaineers. They're within three at 18.50. Putting up a solid block, slowing down Ridgeway. So tough to do. Five straight now by the Mountaineers. And a miss serve. Oh, 19-15 is the score. Corbin with a side out. But momentum has shifted. Yes. Eastern Oregon. Energy is up. Momentum has shifted. A good run. Now just a first swing side out. Gindy back to serve for the Warriors. Gindy to the near side. Williams digs it up. Set goes to the middle. Corbin digs it up. And Eastern Oregon, they're going to slow it. Back the attack, Clayton has it blocked. Now a right side attack. Good play by the right side. I believe Cotton on the right side puts it away for Eastern Oregon. Cotton in on the last three points between a kill and then a block and another kill. She is on fire right now for Eastern Oregon. Three point deficit for Eastern Oregon. Williams to serve. See if she can bring the Mountaineers even closer. Set by Gindy on the slide. Down it goes. Allie Schmidt with the kill, her fifth. And it's 20 to 16, a four point lead by Corbin. Inching ever so close. Five points away from advancing to the title game. This is Ridgeway serving. Ridgeway back to serve. Mountaineers will attack on the right hand side. On tie. Digs it up. Troutman, left side attack. Got it. Troutman puts it away. Riley Troutman, four points away from the match is Corbin. Excellent pursuit from Williams on the Eastern Oregon side, but Troutman with too much heat there off the hands of the blockers, sending it long on the other side of the court for her kill. 21-16 is the score. Eastern Oregon, they'll set up out of the middle. Getting it over was Clayton. Antai runs it down, Troutman tipped and blocked back by Eastern Oregon. Now they have control. And it's a left-hand side, Jensen. Corbin digs it up. Troutman set off the net, cross court. Tracked down by the Mountaineers. Corbin will have it in system. They will set up out of the middle. Good get by Eastern Oregon. Right side attack coming, hot and blocked by Troutman. And it's 22-16 in favor of Corbin. One on one right there, solo stuff from Troutman. She just finds the angle, pushes across the net, just seals it so tight. Look at that celebration, that I was fun. I love that celebration. <laughs> Ridgeway serving. Her team three points away, ever so close. And there's a good attack from the Mountaineers to end the run. Kara Clayton puts it away, her fifth kill of the match. 22-17, Corbin. With a five point lead, Mountaineers those serving. And the serve coming from Eastern Oregon. On tie in the back row. Outside, big swing Troutman. Kept alive by Eastern Oregon. They'll reset, they'll send it outside to Jensen. Ridgeway with the dig. Right side this time for Corbin. Hit over by Davey. Chase down Eastern Oregon and they will send it across. Corbin, Troutman, Troutman, God, no, it's returned back by Eastern Oregon. Here comes another big swing, and that time Corbin finishes it off from Schmidt. Eastern Oregon and their defense keeping balls alive, but then Corbin, they just keep attacking and attacking. They're not frazzled. They're not forced into errors at this point. They just keep bringing it. 
and the middle gets it done. 23-17, two points away from the match. Corbin will serve. This will be Schmidt, played by Williams in the back row. Outside Jensen, falling away. That's outside the antenna. The air will give match point for Corbin up 24-17. 24-17, Corbin serving for the match and a trip to the tomorrow's nat national title game. Serving is Schmidt, Eastern Oregon. Bump set on the right-hand side, roll shot. Chased down by Corbin, Troutman set off the net, cross court, dug up by Eratola. Outside, Jensen falling away, played by Corbin, joust at the net, Eastern Oregon will get it back. Out of the middle, hit over, dug up by Corbin, they'll bring it back to the front row, hitting it over is Davey. Eastern Oregon, up set to Jensen on the left side, tipped high hands by Corbin for the win, Troutman got it! Easter, Corbin with the win on a kill from Riley Troutman. And Corbin with a 25-17 win in the fourth set. They take the semifinal three sets to one. Corbin will play for their first ever national championship tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We knew in set one when it was back and forth extra points that we were going to be in for a good first semifinal. And these two teams did not disappoint. Tough defense, scrappy play, back and forth. Congratulations to Corbin pulling it out in four. They were impressive. Let's uh, run down the numbers here. Corbin, 23% for the match, and that number progressively got better as the match went. Eastern Oregon hit 12%. Blocking numbers. Corbin, 12 blocks compared to 10 and a half for Eastern Oregon. That flipped as well after that first set. And then again, the service ace is six for Corbin, zero for Eastern Oregon. What do you see there in terms of numbers? Corbin was able to apply pressure. You called it all out, right? From the blocks at critical times too. Some solo stuffs to really push that momentum in their favor. Some tough serves as well. Just getting Eastern Oregon out of system. So Corbin doing a really good job all around. Excited for them to head to the national finals tomorrow. Individually, Corbin led by Avery Ridgeway, 21 kills, hit close to 400 for the match. Riley Troutman close behind with 17. Nine for Allie Schmidt out of the middle. Allison Reed with seven. For Eastern Oregon, uh, Shawday Williams led the way with 10. Kara Clayton with nine. Presley Jensen with eight. Camry Scott with seven. For Corbin, they advance with a 33 and four record. They will play for their first ever national title game and they will play either Jamestown the number two seed or Midland the number three seed Eastern Oregon an outstanding season for the Mountaineers comes to an end 34 and three they made it their furthest that they ever have in uh, in program history a semifinal appearance and I think we'll take it to the floor as they will be recognizing Eastern Oregon for their semifinal appearance. So for Beth West, this is Matt Boss signing off, and uh, we'll have the second semifinal in a while. Fans, let's give a nice round of applause to the Mountaineers of Eastern Oregon University. The Warriors of Corbin will advance to the championship match tomorrow night at 7 o'clock.